everybody! Welcome to CP's Asian Squat Mobility video. <laughs> Today, I'm going to teach you how to squat like an Asian. Squat and walk like that. Having a good squat will help you land better. It will also tuck better in your flips and you have better comps. Here are 10 exercises you can do at home to improve on your squat mobility. Before we work on all the exercises, I want you guys to have a little bit of a warm up in the squat. First, go into your full squat and move side to side, front and back, and go around in a circle. And then you can tiptoe up and then rock back down to your heels. Bring your arms up and lean back, then bring your arms down and lean forward. Twist your body in all directions. Try to squat as narrow as you can and squat as wide as you can. Finish this off with a couple of air squats. This is how I usually warm up before every training and I highly recommend you guys to do the same. First off, we're gonna work on our squat depth. Find a wall like this, squat all the way down as you possibly can and just hang around this area for a little bit. I'm gonna try to get your butt to touch your heels, move around, rotate. If you're able to, you wanna try to touch the floor with your bum and then try to get back up. Slowly use less and less effort on your fingers to try to get back up. You want to try to get back up by yourself. You can also squat against the wall like this. Bring your heels back and then tuck your knees towards your chest while trying to get a good stretch out of it. Ankle dorsiflexion stretch. You want to lean forward as far as you can. Push your knees down with your elbows and try to get your knees as far forward while keeping your heels fluted to the ground. Ankle dorsiflexion is super important in the squat. A lot of people can't squat deep because their ankles are not flexible enough. So make sure to do a lot of these stretches. Squat bows. Start off like this. Let's get easier. Squat bowels works a lot on your lower core strength and your pelvic mobility similar to the pancake stretch. You should be actively driving your body close to the ground while keeping your heels flat. Squat pushes. Being able to open your knees as wide as possible helps you go deeper in the squat. You can start off the exercise with pushing with one hand, pushing as far back as possible, trying to straighten the elbow. The second part of the exercise is where you have to open the knees as wide as possible without using your hands. It's okay if you rock to the side of your foot when you do this exercise, so you can go a little bit further back. If this exercise gets too easy, try squatting wider and go as low as you can and then start doing the pushing again like this. Next exercise is the 1990 squat. This really helps with both the internal and external hip mobility. Start sitting down, form a 90 degree with both your knees and you want to switch to the other side. For an additional challenge, you can try to go back up into the squat from the 1990. That. The narrow squat. Sit together, knees together, go all the way down. The narrow squat is not a very comfortable position for most people. It works a lot on the shins and it's important to spend some time on this stance because in parkour, we tend to land with our feet together most of the time. The hip flexor stretch. This is a super good way to get a good stretch in the hip flexors. This elevated position allows you to go really deep in the lunge. Try to experiment with different body positions. Try to lean forward a lot. Try to rotate the knee. Try to open your knees outwards. And also while you're at it, don't forget to stretch your glutes as well. Up next, the Kozak squat. The Kozak squat is a really good way to work on unilateral movement, meaning you're using one leg instead of two. And it's usually easier to go deeper in a squat with one leg compared to two. And it also gives you a good hamstring stretch on the outstretched leg. You can do the Kozak squats in many different variations. One of them is when you keep your body really close to the ground. You can also use your hands to assist you at times. You can also challenge yourself by keeping your back straight in the Kozak squat. One challenging exercise you can try is to try to go all the way down to the ground and then stand back up without using your hands. If you're not able to do so, you can also use a resistance band to guide you along. Overhead squat. 
The overhead squat is a really good way to test your thoracic mobility. Having a really stiff upper back can limit you in a lot of motions and being able to squat with a straight back is super important in terms of keeping your lower back safe. You should be able to move your arms up and down in the squat without losing stability. Experiment with different grip position overhead. You can start off with a wide grip for a start and then go narrower and narrower. Last but not least, the pistol squat. The pistol squat is considered a milestone for squatting strength. So I believe everybody should be working towards getting a good pistol squat. Ryan Ford made an article about the pistol and the shrimp squat and he covered a lot of specifics of the exercises in the article so I'll link it in the description below. For an additional tip, learning how to do a back squat with a barbell definitely made me a better, much more mobile squatter than before. And that's all I have for today. I hope you learned something. I'm actually conducting weekly online classes on the topic of hip mobility and strength. So if you're interested to find out more, click on the link over here, like right here. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. All the best in your Asian squat journey.